Oh boy, it's a Kwanzaa. <laughs> it's unity. Yes, today is Kwanzaa, December 26th in the year 2020. And, hmm. <laughs> After my years of experience, forgive a brother, I'm sitting here with my sage tea, and how do, how do I take on the role and responsibility? How do I share a particular secret? or a conspiracy, or share the thought that we've been duped or brainwashed. Hmm. So on this day of unity, let me say this, too. <laughs> uh, I was just listening to my <clears throat> R&B songs, and <clears throat> at 4.13, it's now uh, <clears throat> 4.48 p.m., song said, I'd rather be with you. I know I sound strange, but I'm serious this time. I'm coming at you with both hands tied behind my back. I'm going to stick my love in your eye. For me to do that as a divine energy, as Brother R.A. spiritual pornographer, I have to put the various aspects of who I am together. Constantly, are you familiar with this tool? See that? It's a corkscrew. And so, do I reach my inner essence of joy and relaxation? Do I have this type of unity with myself? So before I can stick my love in your eye, I have to first experience my self-love, my self-unity. What's the next day of, what's the uh, Kwanzaa and Guza Saba? The next day is Kuji Chakalia, self-determination. Do I have enough self-determination to be one with myself? How much time do you spend with yourself, for yourself, to yourself at high levels of joy, self-appreciation, and relaxation? Dealing with me, myself, and I. Oh, how is that I drawn? Oh, that's a straight line up and down. How is the one drawn? A straight line up and down. Oh, wait a minute. How do you tell a story? There's a beginning, a middle, and an end. And with my corkscrew, there's the beginning, the middle, and the end. The beginning, the middle, and the end. The beginning, the middle, and the end. And am I reaching the potential of what? The flower? Did I make reference to the number one? And how is that nine drawn? Oh, that's a full sphere at the top of the stem. That full sphere is one line with no beginning and no end. And as 
a flower, it blossoms. Do we blossom into higher levels of self-appreciation, relaxation, self-determination as, oh, wait a minute, who am I? I am melanin dominant. What is melanin? That's biological living light. Biological living light. So, if I'm trying to convey a message of divinity and spirituality, for generations, would I just read the past 400 years of knowledge and information, or would I read something that was written thousands of years ago that put the inner essence of the parable to help one understand so the Bible's written and it talks about Jesus walking on water. And he's the Christ. Is it possible that you, as an individual, someone who's inwardly divided, and you haven't worked on becoming that undivided individual, that corkscrew digging into your own inner essence, understanding you, I am Brother R.A., the brother with too much to say, who's been practicing meditation and movement, Tai Chi, Chuan, Flying Tiger, Tai Chi with Master He. And with my own personal knowledge, understanding the metanetta and knowing biological living light and then Master Heej moves me without touching me, talking about telekinetics or electromagnetic energies and I'm biological living light in New England, quote unquote, the intellectual mecca of the world but I'm not staying stuck in my children's calcified pineal gland thought process. I understand the significance of the first eye. The base of the pyramid, whether it's Chichen Itza or Giza, one step at a time. What is the square, the base of the pyramid? The four attributes. Did I, I make one? I made reference to the number one and then two, yin and yang, substantial, insubstantial. Do we tap into the substantial and insubstantial of ourselves constantly in flux as one with the universe? And three is the reverence of man, woman, and child, me, myself, and I, beginning, middle, and end, family, unity of self as a father in nature, in understanding the metanetta, sharing this level of spirituality nine minutes into